Perlach, in the southeast of Munich. Heidi Frusdorfer has lived in this apartment building for over 40 years. We are busy to build up. The 80-year-old fled to Munich with her family after World War II and has published several illustrated books about the 1950s and 60s. She worked as a photographer in it and journalist in the vibrant cultural scene in Munich in the 60s, 70s and 80s. Childhood in Bavaria in the 1950s. But right after the war, the city looked like a field of ruins. The city, the inner circle of Munich, was destroyed 90%. And all over Munich, it was destroyed 40%. Heidi Frustofer remembers the spirit of reconstruction well. Because everybody was, was willing to do something and everybody was looking forward. And because when people have lost everything they had, they just start again. They don't think why, because they only start and want to have New houses want to have shelter and uh, yes, that was the reason. Everybody was looking forward. Looking forward, that was the slogan of those days in Germany, even though the cruelties of Nazi Germany were only a few years ago. Oh, I wasn't a Nazi at all. You know, they ignored many things. It took time. Um, but not in the 50s, they did not speak a lot about the past. There were, there were a lot of, of Nazis, this, this is for sure. And um, our Chancellor, Konrad Adenauer, he said, um, you can't throw away a dirty water unless you have, don't have a new, a fresh water. So, I did not question the people too much because somehow you felt guilty somehow, yeah. The Germans wanted to leave the past behind. So Heidi Fußdorfer remembers her youth positively. But um, the um, demo... Um, how to say... Um, Die, die, man, hat, man hat dann schon versucht, äh, man wusste zu schätzen, äh, was Demokratie bedeutet. Soon the people found out how important it is uh, and how you free you can live immer in a democratic uh, government. Heidi's biggest wish for future generations? I wish for all countries in the world that they have peace. That, um, you know, even what ha was going on now in Europe, this is terrible. I, we wish peace for everybody. <laughs>